Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am just getting ready because we are about to go on a fall decor shopping spree. I am so excited. So actually Bath and Body Works has 50% off of all of their Halloween decor right now this weekend and they also are having a hand soap sale and I don't have any fall hand soaps so I'm going to definitely go and pick those up and I actually already did a uh, buy online pickup in store for the little ghost candle pedestal which is what I've been eyeing since they came out with their fall decor I think they teased it in like July so very excited to pick that up on half price I think it was like $14.50 um, so really great price and I'm definitely gonna go pick up some hand soaps as well so I'm just getting ready at my vanity before we head out just doing a little bit of makeup but I'm gonna walk you guys through what I am looking for for fall decor this year. So I am definitely looking for some stuff to decorate my new dining room table. I've never really had a dining room table to decorate. So I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna get some like play settings I think and probably like a table runner for fall, maybe even one for Halloween. So we're definitely going to go and check out at home. I've heard that they have some little icon glasses that are gonna be basically dupes of the anthropology icon glasses, which I think are like $15 each. So I'm hoping at at home they're like seven or eight dollars. And the nearest at home to me is actually in the suburbs. So I did my pickup for Bath and Body Works in the suburbs as well. So we will be going about 30 minutes away from me just to get to the stores that I wanna go to. But the good news is that Bath and Body Works is actually right next to uh, TJ Maxx, so we will definitely be checking out TJ Maxx. Home Goods is also pretty close by as well, so we'll be checking that out. So very excited. And I also want to hit up Kirkland's. So I've actually never really shopped in store at Kirkland's. I've only looked at their stuff online, but we do have one in like the suburbs of Houston. So I'm going to go check that out, see what I can find. I really want to get this football blanket that they have. It looks so cute. It's like a Barefoot Dreams kind of feeling blanket and so I think I'm going to get one for me and my mom because she loves to watch football as well and who does not like a cozy cuddly blanket so definitely going to pick that up and they have their fall decor on sale this weekend as well so I'm going to check it out I don't know if I'm going to buy anything because Kirkland's is honestly pretty expensive but they have like a 30% off regularly priced items coupon right now so that's what I'll do for the blankets but yeah, I wanna check it out because I've always looked at their stuff online and thought it was super cute. So we'll check out Kirkland's and I would love to check out the Dove Holiday Treats collection at Walmart. However, all of the stores near me are completely sold out or at least that's what the app says. So we'll have to try that another day because I think my stores are completely sold out. But I have been prepping for fall decor and looking at stuff on Pinterest for months. So I'm gonna put on the screen a couple pictures of things that I want to kind of go after as far as fall decor. I really want to make our kitchen super cozy this year so I'm planning on getting some garland and lights that will go above the kitchen cabinets and I think it's going to be the coziest little vibe especially at night uh, watching movies and cooking and stuff. I'm going to try and look for some garlands to put up there and I think I'll have to buy lights online because I really want to get some that have like a timer on them and they're orange. I want to get some orange lights with a timer so that they can turn on automatically at night so i'll probably have to get some of those on like amazon and then i really want to have like a super cozy kitchen and living room this year we are planning on hosting our families for thanksgiving this year so i really want to have a cute kind of tablescape ready so i'm not quite sure what i want yet i'm just going to be looking um and seeing what i can find but i definitely need to go measure my kitchen table and see how long of a runner that I will need. And I would love to get a big, nice wood tray to put there. I think at home we'll have what I'm looking for. Um, just like a big, nice tray there that I can put like some flowers and a candle in and just make it super cozy and adorable. That's pretty much all that we're looking for today. All right, so I am all ready and we're gonna go get in the car. And I think the first place that we're going to stop at is at home. So I will see you guys there. We are at at home and I am looking for, they have these icon glasses that are dupes for anthropology. So I'm looking for that first. I'm looking for a thing, a couple things for the dining room table if I wanna do a place setting for fall. And then I'm also looking for a little like wooden tray to do some tray decor for fall on my bar. So let's just go ahead and start looking. Changes left this 
this town While I'm slowly heading back to my apartment I'm not asking for your thoughts I'm just thinking out loud in the darkness There's no point cause we both know Ooh, From here there's nowhere to go Someone said your heart is golden All I got was my heart broken I can see home had so many pillows I couldn't even get my hands on all of them they were just stacked up so high this entire like center section of the store was all pillows and I really wanted that Halloween bat one but I could not reach it so this whole like section right by the checkout had so much stuff so if you haven't found what you're looking for at at home in the aisles go look down this section because they just had everything here spread out they had some stuff like decorated like it was a table setting and it was just so cute. I was pointing to this little pumpkin stack because I would definitely have bought that if I have like an actual front porch, which I don't, but we found some more kind of kitchen stuff by the checkout as well. A lot of mugs. These are like perfect fall mugs. I think these are super pretty. That was definitely like a soup mug. It's huge. It's ginormous. And then I found some more table setting things. I think this leaf placemat is so pretty and some more table runners. So we have a green version and an orange version. And I think honestly, green for fall is so cute. One day, maybe I'll do like a whole green collection for my fall decor. And then we found a ton of new mugs too. They have so many cute little spooky mugs. I love these espresso cups. I wish I could get them, but I feel like that's a little overkill. And then I found some more different kinds of the icon glasses. So I found kitty cats and then some spiders. So I think I found all of them. Let me know down below if there's more that I missed, but that was everything for at home. Now we went to TJ Maxx and honestly, my TJ Maxx did not have a lot. However, they did have a really big mug collection. They had so many of these little ghosties 
all different kinds. That one had cowboy boots. There's ones with candy corns. There's ones in like costumes. It was so cute. They have so many different ghost mugs. If you're looking for that, definitely check out your home goods or TJ Maxx. And yeah, so many gorgeous mugs. This one is my favorite. I wish it didn't say Hello Pumpkin on the front because I would have just bought it for those orange and white pumpkins. I think that's so cute. And same thing with that other mug. I wish it just didn't say any words on it. Like, thank you, Ray Dunn. <laughs> and then of course, had to look at all of the candles. They had so many different ones. They did have a Homeworks candle. That was the only one I found. And that one actually smelled delicious. And then looking at all of the outdoor decorations, I found these little flamingos, tons of Halloween stuff. Nothing that I was really like looking for. Um, but still really fun stuff. They had so many different types of garlands. I think they're so cute. I love these little light up ghosties. I almost got them, but my line y'all was like, I would be waiting there for 30 minutes and I didn't want to do that. So we did skedaddle out of there before I bought anything, but I did find so many cute things. Lots of stuff for the kitchen, lots of cups and canisters, mugs, dishes, and so many of those glass pumpkins, which I think are making a comeback this year. And I almost got this pumpkin pillow, you guys. I almost got it. And they had these little pumpkin pillows, which these were really cute. They weren't super soft. This one was because it was knit, but the other ones felt super heavy and like I wouldn't cuddle with them. So passed on those. And then I found some beautiful lumbar pillows. They had pink ghosts, orange ghosts, some more pumpkins and skeletons, just so many cute, cozy finds. And I did also go check out the blanket section. They had so many blankets. Like I'm kind of shocked that there was this many left because I know that the blankets are always a hot commodity. just have to talk about the Bath and Body Works fall line this year. So first thing I noticed was Spooky Moontini. I wanted to smell that. It was okay. I'm not going to lie. And Candy Apple Cauldron was also okay. To me, not really super special, especially for the upgraded price this year. But this fall line, oh my gosh, I was gasping in the store. It's so beautiful in person. Those maple leaf lids are just darling. And all of these scents are so good. They're classics and a couple are new. I'm pretty sure a day at the cafe is just white caramel cold brew though, repackaged. But I love the packaging for this fall and I wish I could get all of it, but I already have a lot of fall left over from last year, so I did kind of skimp out on buying more. Hello guys, it is like 10 p.m. now, I'm finally home. I actually had dinner with my parents and then came home, had dinner with Ryan, well, just sat there while Ryan ate his dinner and we talked and I did do a little haul for him. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. It's such a good haul. Um, I did actually get two gifts, which one of them I already gave to my mom, so I can't show you, but I will put up a picture of it when we get to that. So let's start with Bath and Body Works. So the first thing I actually ordered online, they had 50% off all Halloween decor or all Halloween, like everything today. And so I picked up <laughs> this little candle holder. He's so cute, y'all. This little ghosty candle holder, and it is actually like iridescent. So he's so adorable. He's kind of smaller than I thought he would be. I thought he would be taller, bigger, but I'm still happy with him. He's $29.95 originally, so 30. So I got him for 15 and I think he's adorable. You'll see today, I really only picked up like ghost stuff if I picked up Halloween. So that's gonna be like my vibe for Halloween. This year is gonna be ghosties. And then we had $2.95 hand soap sale. So I picked up six soaps. I actually left one at my mom's house. So she got white pumpkin from this same line. Actually, this is sweater weather. So I gave her white pumpkin and I got this one. This one will probably go on Ryan's table since it is kind of more of a masculine scent or Ryan's um, sink. And then I also got pumpkin apple. This is such a beautiful packaging. I love this line they did this year with just the photo labels. It's so like classic Bath & Body Works. It makes me think of like 2010, 2013 Bath & Body Works. I picked up two Halloween soaps. So I did get Wicked Vanilla Woods 
and I really like this one in the body care. I actually ordered it online already. It's coming in later in the week. And then Vampire Blood, also in the hand soap. This is super cute. I love the packaging this year. I think they went really cutesy with it and it's adorable. And then I picked up two gel hand soaps. I like these. For my kitchen, actually, they feel really nice on the hands since they are more like moisturizing than the other ones. So I got Champagne Apple and Honey. This is one of my favorite transition of fall scents. So I'll put this one up like now. And then Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Doesn't that sound like the best hand soap ever? It's gonna smell like maple syrup. And then I had a free body care item up to $16.95 coupon. So I actually got Girlfriend in the shower gel. And this is the first year they brought out Girlfriend in body care. It's always only been out in like hand soap, candle, pocket back, but never in body care. So they have it in the spray, shower gel, and the body lotion this year. So I got the shower gel. I think it smells really good. It is dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. I think it smells really yummy. It's just like super fruity. So that's cool, friend. And then that's everything that I got from Bath and Body Works. So next I'm gonna go over what I got at Kirkland's and I did not record it because I actually got there with only 15 minutes to spare before they closed. They close at six on Sundays. So yeah, I got there with barely any time. So I just wanted to get in really quick, buy what I wanted and get out so I didn't have to like trouble the workers. So the first thing I got is this tray, which it's so beautiful. They had some honestly super gorgeous home decor. And I think this was actually like 15 or 20% off. So this is a ladder footed oval is the name. And this was $39.99. I actually got it for $28. So must have been 40% off then. So very good deal on this. I was looking for actually a circular one, but this one is also really beautiful. I like that it is actually raised. So it's really pretty. I'm gonna be putting this on my bar area with a couple other items that I actually got from at home. So I'll style it. And then for Halloween stuff, I could not pass up on this beautiful table runner. It is little ghosties, it's orange, and the tassels are even ghosts. So cute. So this one was $34.99, and then they had like a store-wide coupon for 30% off anything regularly priced. So I got this one on sale too. This is what it looks like in the picture. I think it's gonna be so cute with my ghosty theme this year. So that's adorable. And then I got two blankets as gifts. So I'll put up on the screen right here, the football blanket that I actually got my mom. It's super cute. It's very like super cozy fabric. And then I got this one, which is little ghosts for someone else, which I'm not gonna say because they might watch my videos, but they will be getting this soon. So this one is, black and white ghosts and then on the back it's actually white with black ghosts so i thought that was super cute that it's you can use it both ways and it's really really cute here's the picture so that was this one and this was 29.99 so i think 30 percent off it came out to like 21 or something so really good deal on this one i think it's super cute and really soft so that was everything from kirkland's now we're gonna do at home that was actually the first store that i went to so the whole reason why i wanted to go to at home was to find these glasses and you guys saw i found them in a lot of different ways like a lot of different colorways so i picked up two in just the white speckled with these beautiful little pumpkins on them because I want to display these and also of course use them and I think they are like 17 ounces so they are pretty substantial and I definitely could fit I think a coffee in them and be comfortable with it it's actually like kind of wide so it's honestly like the size of a candle yeah it's a pretty big big cup I could do cocktails I could do coffee tea energy drink whatever so I picked up two of these and these are $7.99 I think it's a great deal because the anthropology ones are what like 15 or more so I picked up those two and they are glass pretty substantial so they feel good and then also from at home I picked up this little vase now not the dried floral this is actually from home goods later on in the haul but I picked up this vase and this was $14.99 honestly they had so many selections for vases and stuff um, to be able to style, style your home for a good price. So this was really cute. And I'm gonna put that on top of the tray that I showed you guys from Kirkland's. Also for the tray decor, I got these two candlestick holders and these are also a great price. They had so many candlesticks. This, so the small one is $9.99 and the big one is $12.99. Just really cute. And then I did pick up a candlestick. These were $4.99 and they're just orange and like little spiral. I think that's super cute. So I'll definitely be able to use these for fall and for Halloween as well. And then I also picked up this fall garland and this is 15 feet, sorry, this is five feet. It was $5.99. And what I plan on doing is actually making little mini wreaths to put on the back of my 
um, kitchen chairs. So I think it's gonna be really cute. And then because we are planning on hosting Thanksgiving and I've never had like a tablescape before, I went ahead and picked up some napkins. This is a set of four for $8.99 and they're just pumpkin orange. Honestly, I should have picked up eight because we have eight table settings. We have four bar stools and four sitting tables at the dining room. So yeah, I need to pick up more <laughs> and like actually finish my tablescape. But here's the start of it. I just wanted to feel like I started on it, you know? Also, one of the main reasons why I went was to get garland. So I did pick up four of these and these are six foot fall garlands. These are all $7.99, so $8.00. And it's really full. That's what I liked about the at-home garland is you get it for a good price and it's really full. Honestly, the stuff at like Michael's was really cheap looking. I'm not going to lie. So this one I think looks really great. It's also chain link, which I thought was really cool so I can cut it and it'll look fine if I want to trim it. So I'm going to be putting this on top of my kitchen cabinets. It's going to be the cutest thing ever. It actually kind of smells like fall. So I'm very, very excited about that. I think my kitchen is going to be super cozy this year. And the last place that I have to haul from is Home Goods. So Home Goods actually was super, super good. I went to TJ Maxx um, before Home Goods, and my TJ Maxx was very picked over. It was a Sunday. It was busy. I'm sure they just, you know, like there's been a lot of people in the store. And our Home Goods is kind of in like a weird area. So I would say it's probably not, it doesn't have as much foot traffic as that TJ Maxx. That TJ Maxx is right next to a Target. So this one I think just gets less foot traffic and there was so much good stuff. I did not film in this Home Goods because honestly I got overwhelmed with how much stuff there was and you really couldn't like walk. <laughs> you could barely walk in the uh, store, much less push your cart through it. So it was like very overwhelming for me. So I'm just gonna give you guys the haul instead of showing you everything that was there, but they had some good stuff. So if you guys have a standalone Home Goods, I definitely suggest just going to that. So the first thing I got is, I just realized this is a two pack. This is drying mats and it's $9.99 and they're just orange. So we like to, or I, I like to hand wash most of our um, dishware that we use. So I end up putting it on these drying mats and we just have some gray ones that we've had for like three or four years and they're a little tattered and I would just like to change them out for the season. So yeah, I picked up this orange one and I thought it was one, but it's actually two mats. So that makes me pretty happy. Like I was saying earlier, I got this dried floral. They have a really nice dried floral section in Home Goods, and this was $12.99. So I already took out a little bit of this to put it in the vase. Um, and there's still 10 left, so I can use it in other spaces in the house too. So I really liked that. It's a good bang for your buck. And then I picked up two sets of string lights, okay? It was a little excessive, but I couldn't help myself. So first I found these mercury glass pumpkins, and this is a 10 foot strand. These were $12.99, and look how beautiful. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So I plan on using these underneath our TV in the living room. Um, at least until Halloween, because I will put up these ones for Halloween. They're little ghosties. Aren't they so cute? So going along with my ghost theme, and these were $14.99, and they are, it doesn't tell me how many feet, five foot, five inches long. So again, I will put this underneath our TV, and it's going to be so cute and cozy. I might keep both of them up. We'll see how they look, but I figured I would have another set for Halloween because it's just so cute. And the last thing from my haul is this beautiful leaf blankie. So I got everybody else blankies and I wanted to get myself one. This is another one of those double-sided ones. So it is orange with white leaves on this side and then white with orange leaves on this side. And I think it's so cute. It's again, that like super, super soft fabric. And this was $24.99. So that was the whole haul. That was a heck of a lot of stuff. Mostly fall, some Halloween, and then some stuff for like year round decor, but I feel like I did pretty good. I kind of went a little crazy, but honestly, I'm not sad about it because it was all cash, so it didn't really count, right? <laughs> so anyways, that is everything for the haul and the shop with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will definitely be doing Halloween and fall decor videos come September. I plan on decorating like literally September 1st for fall because I want to be cozy for as long as possible. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.